Meanwhile, Donald Trump's rally at Madison Square Garden on Sunday, uh, accurately by the New York Times, reported uh, called a carnival of misogyny. Uh, Susan Milligan is writing over at the New Republic today. This is Trump, Trump's promise to young men. I am your retribution against women. That that's what he's saying. That's his message. Um, Grant Cardone, a self-styled business guru, likened the Democratic nominee for president to a prostitute, saying that her pimp handlers will destroy our country. Another speaker called Harris the devil and the Antichrist. Trucker, T Tucker Carlson mocked her racial identity and said that she was low IQ, which is Donald Trump's favorite slur for black people, uh, uh, black women in particular. He called Letitia James that. He called Fonnie Willis that. Um, when t Trump running mate J.D. Vance mentioned Tim Walls, the crowd erupted into tampon Tim chants. This uh, so-called comedian said Latinos love making babies. There's no pulling out, bloody, bloody, blah. I'm not going to do the whole joke. Uh, these were not just off-the-cuff remarks. These were deliberate. These were uh, deliberate attacks on women. This is all part of Trump's strategy uh, to make America masculine again. He knows that he's lost women because he, you know, he overturned Roe v. Wade. And so he's trying to get young men on board by saying, I'm your guy. He's, uh, this, is, this is what Susan Milligan says. She says, Trump is giving them license to say whatever they want about women, and his campaign is an implicit promise to give them control over women, including women's bodies. This is aggrieved young men who feel the male birthright to power. So this is Trump's closing argument, to put women back in their place and restore men to total supremacy in America. Trump called Harris uh, S-word vice president. He continued denigrating Kamala Harris on the Joe Rogan show. He called her a very low IQ person. He said, some of these women, they're so stupid, Donald Trump said. And, you know, bragging about Arnold, Arnold Palmer's penis size, he, he goes on, you know, I love, you know, it's, it's just weird, right? Stephen Miller also got in on the Alpha Male Act. Stephen Miller, who does a great Joseph Goebbels imitation, he has some dating advice for young men. He says, show that you're a real man. Show that you are not a beta. Be a proud and loud Trump supporter, and your dating life will be fantastic. Yes, women just love that, don't they? And then Tucker Carlson comes out and says, uh, Trump is going to be the father to the nation, who he's very disappointed in. He says, when daddy gets home, you know what he says? You've been a bad girl. You've been a bad little girl, and you're getting a vigorous spanking right now. I mean, this is all, this, this is basically the Trump campaign now, is men will make you more powerful than women, once again. And I mean, this has been going on ever since at the Republican National Convention, when Trump walked onto the stage, what was the song he was playing? James Brown songs, it's a man's, man's, man's world. She notes, I raise the very feminine qualities he disparages. He's highly emotional, he throws tantrums, and he gets his feelings hurt easily. As retired pro wrestler, wrestler Dave Bautista told Jimmy Kimmel, look at him, he wears more makeup than Dolly Parton. The, the guy's afraid of birds. The guy's barely strong enough to hold an umbrella. He's got jugs, big ones like Dolly Parton. You know that dance he does? He looks like he's whacking off a pair of giraffes. Yeah, right.